the baddies. A big part of emotional connection is having good bad guys. Did you like the Polish bad guys? There's lots of there's lots of mini baddies in this. Yeah, there's lots of people that there's it's like of, yeah. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know. Whenever I see films like this, it's like, oh my gosh, I hope to her like the Lord that I'm never ever involved in anything like this because I wouldn't want to step on my front door like ever again. <laughs> I think you're safe, probably. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But yeah, there were lots of people that like they had like obviously kind of the main bad guys and was it like the bakery or like a butcher's shop butchers, or something? Yeah, making sausage. Um, and then they had kind of their henchmen who were also quite kind of little gangs in themselves. Yeah, it was a bit kind of scary. If there is no one to trust really, and they're always being watched and that was the thing as well the neighbor kept taking the daughter to go on play dates and stuff surely she'd come and be like why is there a mob boss carrying like two big <laughs> tanks of petrol in your house like shall i call the police no it's fine just take the kids to the zoo it's it's fine be a better neighbor that, honestly that infuriated me i'm so glad you picked up on that because there was at one point where was it the neighbor who was babysitting yeah and she was like oh come over here and she left the one kid by herself. Yeah, come and, and take your bikes around the back. And then the daughter goes, but then the child just sits there and it's like, for goodness sake, stand up, listen. And you're sitting in the cinema <laughs> screaming like, oh my God, get up because they're going to kill you. <laughs> what I'd like to hear, what i like to see is a different Fred from the babysitter stroke mother's friend's <laughs> perspective. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah like, like, I want to be nosy, but I don't want to think I'm being nosy. Oh, it's probably nothing. Like, oh, it's fine. And honestly, the house is on fire. I'm just and... going on with their day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when the police come out, oh, I just didn't want to be nosy. I just didn't want to be that person. <laughs> Why didn't you call the police? The kid went missing. No, it's all right. These yeah, things no, it's happen fine. all the time. Like, yeah, that was another thing. Because surely if your child has come around, but they're not the other child, you'd think, oh, I wonder where they've gone. I'll go and check. And then next door, like the front door's blown in and there's gunshots. Ah, oh, it'll be nothing. <laughs> She'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, you'd have thought 10 police cars would have rolled up, not just commons yeah. coming through. Or even she would have gone around and knocked and be like, is everything okay? Oh, oh my, I hate that yeah. neighbour. <laughs> ah. But again, if they added that, they might have had to add like another whole backstory. Honestly, to her, I want so. a film from her perspective. That's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Bad neighbour. <laughs> But I liked some of these bad guys, and they they had like the typical unruly, ultra violent guy who was really nasty, and then they had the big boss man who, this actor, I feel like you know when an older actor is a great actor because of the amount of like wrinkles and folds in his mm. head. This guy had like some of the most interesting wrinkles and folds I've ever seen. He had more than Anthony Hopkins, who <laughs> yeah. for me is like one of the best actors of all time. But he's like you can see it in his face. This actor, he must have done a lot of theatre acting, I think, because... Yeah, he was very expressive. Yeah, I liked him. 